Okay guys, so Boxing Legends back with another video. In this t tutorial, we'll be talking about how to go to the new Roblox Create page and we're going to be uploading a decal as well too in the page. So the first thing you got to do is you got to go to the normal Roblox page and then hit create. Let's wait for it to load. And as you see, there's a new updated page according to this message. So click here on it. And if you don't want to do that way, or if that page doesn't show up, then you should go to this link right here, create.roblox.com slash creations. It will take you to the new creator dashboard. So once I opened it, I see that the creation page pop up. As you see, you could click this to create a new experience, but I don't really feel like doing it right now. But yeah, that will, that will work. Also, there's avatar items right here. So you could upload an avatar thing. For example, the shirt. I don't know why the heck I created this when I was like little. And there's shirts right here. And pants. So you could upload your own assets for them right here and you could wear them on like, you could like wear them like in the avatar avatar creation thingy on like the normal roblox page and you could like show off in games with these three and there's also development items which is what i'm gonna do so this is the models this is plugins but i don't create i didn't create any animations oh okay and i could also create plugins on roblox studio you could also upload audio right here and show archive ones and there's decals too, so like, it's these stuff, like, for example, if you're in a game, and like, probably they have like, car images, that's where you go to like, upload it, for example, this, there's also images, and, yeah, this is images, honestly, it's like a model, I guess, but maybe an image of them, but like, I'm not into them really, so I don't know much, and there's also meshes, and anima animations so i used to make piggy fan games so these are all like my animations and now let's go upload a decal so in order to do this you need to click upload asset you need to upload a file so let me get one and apparently it uploads faster here so this is it i just searched up image on google and they just suggested me this so i just took it i guess i'm gonna name it image and then we could name the description image. Now hit upload. And now it should appear. So this is the page. You could also distribute it to the creator marketplace. And you could also open up for comments. But now let's add this to our game. So if you want to add it to your game, you got to go to experience. I'm going to create a new experience for this. So let's wait so yeah you could do like a bunch of things here basically it's like it's it's better than the own page because it's easier to navigate for example you could like see more games here it also has better color and stuff the page and there's also like a forum here in case you need help and many other stuff so I kind of like this new created dashboard better than the own page for developing so it's configuring right now and this is the one we want so let's click this let's copy the asset id because we're gonna need this to put it in the game and now it should open studio right here so you could pick whatever game you want i'm gonna do i'm gonna start a new game a, cast, a classic base plate and I'm gonna go to home and I'm gonna add a part because I'm gonna put the image on a part and I'll show how to do it with a GUI in a second so we can leave it like this so this is my part all right I got anchor let me anchor it right here so anchor is like it keeps a part standing still and like you can't move it and now what you need to do is you need to go to the part, click the plus, select decal, and then paste the ID in it. 
And as you see, it shows. You could also change like the side you wanted, so it's apparently the right side. And here it is. Now I'll show how to do it on an image real quick too, so it's pretty easy. Start a GUI. Um, a you need a screen GUI too in it. And I'm going to select either an image button or an image label. I'm going to do an image label because I'm not really going to like make it a clickable thingy. And for the image down here, paste the ID and now it should appear. And if we play, we should see it. So let's try. And yeah, this is this is how you add the image too in addition with the creator dashboard. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you do, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.